Deputy O'Callaghan, six and a half minutes. Uh, Margaret Cahirlach, uh, and I want to begin. Cahirlach, uh, by uh, wishing everyone who's going to attend uh, Dublin Pride this Saturday a, uh, a happy Pride. Cahirlach, uh, when I attended my uh, first uh, Pride, it was about 28, 29 years ago, uh, and there was no marriage equality uh, at that time. There was no discussion of marriage equality in the country, no discussion even of things like civil uh, partnership. It uh, wasn't even talked about. Uh, I think we'd, uh, it was just, as others have noted, it was just a year or two after uh, homosexuality had been decriminalised. And in fact, we lived in an Ireland which at that point had only recently uh, made contraception widely available. It had been available on a restricted basis before that. But only recently could you actually you know, get contraception, let's say, in a vending machine, in a, in a nightclub or a pub or, or whatever. So look, a lot of things have changed uh, since then, uh, but some things have, have stayed the same as others have noted, and I want to talk about some of the things that still need uh, to change uh, on this. The, it's been noted by others that according to ILGA Europe, uh, Ireland has now slipped to the place of 16th in Europe in terms of LGBTIQ plus human rights and policy positions, and that is highly regrettable. 33% of LGBTQI plus people have experienced discrimination uh, in the last two years according to uh, information from the CSO. 75% uh, of us uh, have been verbally abused uh, due to being uh, simply because of, of who we are. One in five of us, uh, myself included, have been punched, hit or physically attacked uh, in a public place uh, just because of uh, who we are. LGBTIQ plus uh, young people uh, are two times more likely to self-harm harm than others. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're overrepresented in the homeless uh, community, uh, as others have noted, in terms of there's huge uh, challenges in terms of mental health. And when we see, uh, look at employment figures uh, for trans community uh, and see the huge challenges that trans people find in terms of getting, uh, getting employment, that's hugely uh, worrying. And bizarrely, we're invisible uh, in the census uh, that was carried out. Uh, the census decided not to collect uh, data, which I think is way out of step. Uh, with other uh, countries and of course if you don't collect and measure data how can you actually address uh, different policy uh, positions look there is a lot that needs to be done uh, absolutely the criminal justice incitement to violence or hatred and offenses bill needs to be progressed and, and enacted beyond that bill we need an all of government approach and i think action plan uh, to prevent and reduce uh, hate crimes in addition the national lgbtqi plus inclusion strategy needs to be renewed and we need to have uh, proper resources in place for LGBTQ plus support services. Uh, without that, uh, they cannot do their work. I welcome the comments from the Minister earlier uh, in relation to international protection. And I think uh, it is very important that it is, the system is reformed in line uh, with the recommendations uh, in the Believe Me or Not by Am Who I Am uh, report. And I welcome his, his comments about reform in that area. And it is important that uh, supports for LGBTQI plus uh, travellers uh, are enhanced and indeed that trans healthcare uh, is improved. Very much welcome uh, the announcement and comments from the uh, Minister in relation uh, to the legislation around banning uh, conversion uh, therapy. That is important. Cairlock, uh, look, if we're being honest about it, the huge amount of the opportunity that we had in the last eight years since marriage equality was voted on uh, probably has been squandered. We haven't uh, made the progress in those eight years. Uh, that we should have. And what that referendum showed beyond any doubt was it showed that the, there is a large majority of people uh, in Ireland that want uh, full equality and want uh, full uh, inclusion. And that work that was done over several decades by people uh, campaigning uh, and by activists campaigning for, uh, for equality and for inclusion, that work uh, goes on. In relation to the attacks that we've seen, particularly in recent years uh, on the trans community, uh, I think it's important to send out the message uh, very, very strongly that the uh, trans community is not on their own. They have uh, absolute full uh, support and solidarity from the wider LGBTQI plus community and indeed uh, from society uh, beyond that. If you look at last year's uh, Dublin Pride uh, Parade, the, ongo the message from multiple organisations, from speaker after speaker in, uh, Marian, uh, in, in the park in Marion Square afterwards, and indeed from performer after performer uh, at that uh, event that was hosted by Dublin Pride was a strong uh, support uh, and solidarity uh, with uh, the trans community. I want to, speaking of that, uh, of, of Pride, I want to acknowledge the huge 
uh, work that is done by volunteers in Dublin Pride and indeed across the country in running Pride events and in supporting LGBTQI uh, plus services around the country. That's incredibly important uh, work that is highly, uh, I think, highly valued. And then just to conclude, uh, Cahirlock, I do want to say this, that I think it is important when we talk about all the challenges and all that needs to be done, it's also important to make the point that ultimately, uh, for a huge amount of us, uh, you know, the whole, you know, coming out, being who you are, participating uh, fully in society is a massively liberating uh, experience. Uh, you know, I can, you know, co with absolute confidence say, uh, without a doubt uh, that I uh, wouldn't change for a second uh, who I am and that some of the best people I've met through my life, uh, it's, I've met, especially when I came out, I've memories you know, of, of fun and laughter and meeting uh, resilient uh, people uh, and meeting some of the best uh, people you could meet. And I wouldn't change that for a second. And the challenge that we have as legislators and as national politicians to ensure that everybody who is LGBTQI uh, plus in this country uh, is able to say the same all of the time, that they wouldn't want to change it uh, for a second, and that, it, you know, that being who they are is something that, they fully, uh, that they're able to fully celebrate uh, during Pride without any uh, worries or fears. And that's what we all need to work together on, Gerv Margot. Um,